Hi, I'm Melissa Russum and I have long QT type 2. Other people in my family with long QT are both of my daughters. There's Cora who just turned 6 this month and Kate who will be 4 in June. Also my mother Barbara and several aunts, cousins, and children of cousins. In addition, my sister Christy Tulaski passed away suddenly when she was 24 who also had long QT type 2. Um, our family is in upstate New York. We're in the Albany area, kind of just just as the Adirondack Mountains start. Um, and luckily, we are pretty far. We're about a two and a half hour drive from New York City. So kind of the, the U.S. epicenter is a good deal out of reach of us, which is pretty comforting at the moment. Um, where we are, there hasn't really been massive disruption to the medical system. It's really been probably what all of the rest of you are seeing, which is the massive work from home, schools closed. We just heard today that schools will be closed through May 15th at least, and really we're not expecting them to open up again um, through the rest of the year. So we are home, and my husband and I are homeschooling and working from home. Luckily, I work for myself, so I have a very flexible schedule, and we are making it work with our in-home preschool and kindergarten here. Um, some of the long QT concerns I had with COVID were accessibility of medication, but we really haven't seen any problem with that. We've easily been able to get three-month supplies of my girl's propanolol and also my natalol, so that's been very comforting. And also, our family is asymptomatic, so... Ideally, and historically, we have not needed any kind of emergency medical care. Our long QT has been managed through just regular check-ins. So hopefully we don't have to have any interactions with the medical system during this time when it's so overloaded. So I feel pretty safe and very fortunate that our long QT is as managed as it is. And we, I do feel very low risk. So, so that's something that's very comforting. Um, from a family perspective, we have been playing all sorts of board games. We have really enjoyed getting to know my daughter's, you know, the, like the kindergarten curriculum. May sound ridiculous, but, you know, even just in kindergarten, they're learning. And it's really cool to go from the, the front lines to really being in the game of their education. And Cora turned six on April 10th. And we were supposed to be in Florida for spring break and celebrating with my parents and with my brother's family. But instead, we had a celebration here. And we had probably a dozen or more of her school friends drive by, give her a massive parade. They made signs. They had balloons. And my parents came and several of my aunts came. And it was just so, so special. When during these times, we think a lot about the, the negative aspects. And there's more than I can count. And again, we're very fortunate, my family, that we're not all that heavily impacted negatively. We're well positioned to be able to isolate at home, to not have essential staff going, not be essential staff, to have to go out and work. We're able to really isolate. Um, but there are so many negatives, but the positives of seeing my daughter's little school friends, and their parents drive by and us stand on the lawn and wave and them all say happy birthday. You know, it got my husband and I actually choked up about it. Um, we're really seeing amazing thoughtfulness of people. And um, so I just wanted to share our perspective and how we're really fortunate that Long QT is not a huge disruption to our lives. We're able to carry on, for the most part, how we were. Just now we're doing it at home in a much smaller social circle, social circle than we're used to keeping. But... I've seen a lot of you at the SADS conferences, and I would love to be able to see you in person again soon, but until then, it's great to keep in touch online, and I love all the Facebook Lives that SADS is doing. Um, I've noticed you know, everyone kind of being more and more active, so I hope to see you all in the online SADS communities, and hopefully in person sooner rather than later. Stay well.